Drop it! What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Flet's Movies and Pop Culture 13, where he's got all movies. I'm your host, Kyle Curse Flet. Today, I'm here to talk about my top five favorite Godzilla films, and I've been a huge Godzilla fan ever since my parents introduced me to the 1954 original classic. And there's been amazing Godzilla films over the years. And since Godzilla Minus One is just came out in a few years, and, I, and I'm so excited that I could see it in a few days, I thought it'd be awesome to, call, to come on here and talk about my top five favorite Godzilla films. With that being said, let's get into this. Coming down my number five is Godzilla 2000. So after the bad reception of the Godzilla 1998, the very first American Godzilla adaption, it got a bad reception. Toho striked back with Godzilla 2000. And I've been wanting to see a Godzilla film in a few years ever since I've seen the classic original and that day came when my dad took me to the Jan feeder to watch Godzilla 2000 and what a way to kick off your first ever Godzilla experience with a tow hole film and I have so many fond memories with this because this is what amazing fond memories with my dad um this film is just incredible it's phenomenal it was a phenomenal theater experience I, I liked the, I thought I thought the design of Godzilla looked amazing it was that classic Toho Godzilla I love the characters in it um, it had quite the monster that he faced in the movie. Um, I love the scene where the, you know, the the the, the villain leader char- character that says Godzilla and Godzilla just lets him have it at the end. Um, this was like this was a phenomenal, incredible, well written Godzilla film, and it was just I had amazing experience with this. It. It, it was a blast, and it just and, you know what a it was just what a full experience, and it was. It was a wonderful experience with my dad. I watched my first, first Godzilla film on screen, and that was just an amazing experience. And it was an incredible film. I love the direction that it took, and it took risk. It did something different with the franchise. I loved it very, very much. So, so coming to number four, so after the success, after Legendary Pictures got the American rights to Godzilla, after the success of Godzilla 2014, they came out with Godzilla King, King of the Monsters. Directed by the director who directed like Trick or Treat and Krampus. Um, this was amazing. This was the ultimate um, American Godzilla experience. Godzilla King of the Monsters was just incredible. The visual effects were amazing. The action sequences were phenomenal. I thought the characters were really, for most part, were well written. Um, I love the, I love, I love the scene, you know, when King Ghidorah think, is kicking, is, think he's going to destroy Godzilla. Mafia, one of the emotional scenes is when Mafia tries to save Godzilla and he gets killed. Um, what amazing experience this was. And I thought the cast performance was amazing. Um, Godzilla was, I love the Godzilla, Godzilla design in this. Um, it was just that, you know, it, it paid tribute to like, you know, the destroy all monsters that came in the 60s. Um, this film was just a blast. And I think it was, it was the, it's my favorite of the, the 2014 trilogy. It's definitely amazing. It's it's everything what Godzilla fans wanted, and it was a credible, credible film. I loved it very much, and it was amazing, amazing film. And it was definitely my best American favorite Godzilla film. So, so coming up number three is from 1984's Return of Godzilla. I love the score in this. I love the darker tone it took. I love the way they introduced Godzilla back to the audiences. This film was just, I love the darker tone. It just brought back the destruction of what God, what makes Godzilla amazing. I love the Godzilla design of this. I love the story behind this. 1984 Godzilla was just a big, awesome return because they need to make a comeback. Because after a while, the Godzilla was making some stinkers there for a little bit. But this one was just incredible. And I love, even other than the, and even the American version of it, they got Raymond Byrne in there. That is just incredible. I thought this film was just brutal, 
brutal, brutal, intense movie, and I loved every single scene in it. It was just mind blowing, mind blowing. 1984 is God's. I love the darker tone that they took in this film. I loved this film. It was just a great return for Godzilla, and and uh, I can see where they took some inspiration for like, from this film for Shin Godzilla and my, Godzilla minus one. Because my goodness, this film was mind blowing. And I love the score, the performances, and the tense action sequences. I love the monsters. I love what he, what Godzilla did in this. It was an incredible film. So, so coming down, my number two is Shin Godzilla. So after you know, after you know, America had their success with Godzilla 2014 and um, Godzilla King of the Monsters. That came Toho came out with Shin god zilla i know there's a lot of talking in this and there is definitely a lot of talkings with politics and government and everything in this film but i know and then the first time you see godzilla his design doesn't look good but when you get to his full full-on shin godzilla um look um it was terrifying the most terrifying godzilla that you've seen in years I, this film is not for everyone because you because this definitely has a lot of talking in this and a lot of subjects they really touch in this but when godzilla finally hits to his full shin godzilla it is one of the blast movies one of the darkest movies ever i wish we got a sequel to this but i'm still happy with that we got godzilla minus one because oh my goodness i cannot wait um and i'm hearing amazing things about godzilla minus one um this film was outstanding. I, I I didn't mind the dialogue. Um, I really got it. It was it was so cool to show that you know, the what happens that you know if they disagree and the, and what the consequences does if you don't listen to anybody and the destruction that Godzilla left in Shin Godzilla was just incredible and Shin Godzilla was awesome. I bought it on Blu-ray like six years ago. Um, yeah, and it's just amazing that you know, this one was was a phenomenal film and it was a blast. So coming at number one is the 1954's original classic that started all. Um this what this introduced to me my favorite movie monster of all time. Um Godzilla, you know, it was the first introduction to the character and it really left the mark of what Godzilla became. This one is definitely one of the best films of the franchise. It really kicked off amazing franchise. It showed the instruction. I love the story behind it. And then when you see Godzilla enter the film, that black and white original is just amazing. It's outstanding. The score, the iconic look of Godzilla, the cast, the, it's just one of those films that are really outstanding. Um, and, then, and then the achievement that they did back then, because no one's seen that something like that back then. But when they introduced Godzilla to the films to the to people for the very first time, it definitely left a mark that lasted over sixty years, over sixty years now. And this film is just amazing, phenomenal, incredible film. Um, it's just one of those films that it just near dear to my heart. It um, it is amazing that. My favorite monster, my favorite movie monster, still going strong, and I can't wait to see minus one in a few days. Like I said, this, um, and I can, I, and I noticed that they're paying a lot of tributes to the original in there, and this, and take the original and put it on high voltage, and take it to even to the next level. So, all right, guys, let me let me in the comments below. What's your top five favorite guys of the films? I would love to know. If you enjoyed this little please like, subscribe, most miss awesome kind of like this. I'll be back Monday. I'll be interviewing Kiss, uh, Chris Cornwell, the production designer of Wes Craven's Curse and the art director of the Prom Night remake and so much more. Um, and then I will have another video coming up very, very soon. And I will be also be inter um, interviewing Jonathan Ivey, the MMA legend, the, you know, the leg lock monster. I'll be also be um, interviewing another stunt another fa another all famous stunt person in the business once we uh, confirm today i'll let you know who that is um i'll be bringing on chuck borden the stunt coordinator oculus we'll be doing doing an oculus watch party so he'll he, I, I can't wait to see hear stories while we watch the movie together and and on the i think next saturday i'll be bringing on nick cooling we'll be doing our nightmare on 
top nightmare now street moments um i hope that i hope to have special agent danable banner on and shout out to um, my good friend um caleb Sp- spooky spooky clutter from Dusty Swab podcast. Um, he's a huge Godzilla fan, so I thought I'd go shout out to them and go subscribe to their channel, help them get the 200. And stay tuned for all the amazing stuff that will be announcing very, very soon. So, with that being said, thank for all for watching. Hope you have an amazing one. No date, we'll see you. Other one, bye.